The White House COVID task force says scientists are racing to find out more about the Omicron variant. While little is known about how vaccines are going to hold up against this variant, the push to get people vaccinated and boosted is as great as ever. News for Jack's consumer investigator Lauren Verno is joining us live uh, from uh, the Clanzel T. Brown Center. That's where they're about to wrap up their vaccination site for the day. Lauren? So, Kent, the message tonight, really, get vaccinated, and if you are vaccinated, get boosted. The CDC last night changing their recommendations that anyone 18 and older should get their booster shot six months after getting their second dose of either Pfizer or Moderna and two months after getting their J&J. &J. And I can tell you they're about to wrap up here and not that many people right now. And the message, like I mentioned before, get the booster, get vaccinated before Omicron hits the U.S. It's been almost two weeks since the Omicron variant was first detected in South Africa and still. It is just too early to make a definitive prediction about what the severity is going to be. The White House COVID task force says a case of the Omicron variant could pop up in the U.S. any day now. We are actively looking for the Omicron variant right here in the United States. Right now, there is no evidence of Omicron in the United States. The Delta variant remains the predominant circulating strain, representing 99.9% of all sequences sampled. So here's the good news. The FDA believes the self-antigen or rapid tests and PCR tests are able to detect the variant. But the problem is, at home, you're only going to see whether you're positive or negative. To detect the actual variant, that sample has to be sent off to a bigger lab for genome sequencing. And that testing, Dr. Walensky says, is ramping up. We are now sequencing approximately 80,000 samples per week, about one in every seven PCR positive cases. And that's more than any other country. And the medical experts agree, get vaccinated before the variant gets here. But the question was posed, why should people get vaccinated and boosted when every vaccine maker has said they don't know how their vaccine will hold up to the variant? So when we say that although these mutations suggest a diminution of protection and a degree of immune evasion, you still, from experience that we have with Delta, can make a reasonable conclusion that you would not eliminate all protection against this particular variant. Dr. Sharag Patel with U of Health Jacksonville adds. The reason why it's become the dominant strain in South Africa is because there's such high numbers of unvaccinated individuals, right? In other regions um, locally to South Africa that have high vaccination rates, you're not seeing it run as rampant, right? So that in and of itself tells me that the vaccines should have some good protection against Omicron which is one reason why the White House is emphasizing this new variant is cause for concern, not for panic. And again, right now, about 47 million people remain unvaccinated. 20% of people who are eligible to get a booster shot have gone in. So still, you have that 80%. So at the community centers, like the one behind me, you have health departments, CVS, Walgreens, they are all offering both the vaccinations and the booster shots right now. We do have a full list on our website, newsforjacks.com. For now, reporting live in Moncrief, Lauren Verno, Channel 4, The Local Station.